Alhamdulillahi wal kaffa Salamun ala ibadillahi lazina staffa Amma ba'd Audhu billahi mina shaitanir razim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Qala inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajihun Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Rabbi shrongli sadri wa yasirli amri Uhalul uqdatam min lisani yabqahu qawli My dear respected elders, audience and listener First of all, I would like to welcome all of you with Islamic greetings Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu May peace, mercy and blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on all of you Today The chosen topic of mine is the reason why we feel sad. The reason of the sadness and anxiety. My dear brother and sister, in this consumer world, we face in our everyday life in many incidents and many turmoil sometimes some incident make us sad make us feel anxiety why we are become sad what the reason behind it? Why we are sad? One of the fact of that is we forget this world is not a jhana. That's why this world is not a perfect. That's why we feel sad and anxiety in our life. How can I give such a statement with confidence? Simply because our Almighty Lord, our Creator, our Sustainer, Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He clearly mentioned in His last and final statement, the Al-Quran, Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 155. Here, our Lord, our Creator, our Sustainer, He clearly mentioned He will surely testify us in the fear. What is fear? Fear is a one kind of emotion and our almighty lord our god our sustainer our cherisher allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he would like to testify us by the emotion after then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said he will testify us with hunger with loss of asset, with loss of life, with loss of fruits. Everything he stated in this verse is the emotion. And this is actually mean the sadness or anxiety
Now I come to the main point. Sadness and anxiety is a part and parcel of every human life. Why? Because it's completely natural emotion. We can't detach ourselves from that emotion. Sometimes Shaitan, who is our great enemy, he kicks with us. When we become sad or when we become anxious, we think ourselves or Shaitan tell us maybe we become disbeliever or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala angry with us. That is not true. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us hope and give the glad tidings of the people who keep patience. And before I starting my talk, I mention a verse of the Holy Quran, Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse number 156. Here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give the glad tidings of the people when they face any climate or any misfortune come in their life, they said, Kala, inna lillahi, we belong to Allah. Wa inna ilayhi rajiyun. And we have to go back or return to our Lord. After that, verse number 157, 157, here Allah clearly mentioned they are the people who get blessing and mercy of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and guidance for them. Now, we come to know from this three verse of the Holy Quran, Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse number 155, verse number 156, as well as verse number 157. The anxiety and sadness is the part and parcel of our life. We can avoid, we can dinner. Every human being in this world, they have an experience of that. And it is not a unnatural thing, it's completely natural emotion. And we come to know from the last and final testament, Al-Quran, there is a many story about the Prophet and Shuhada, the people. They also testify by their emotion. We can mention here, as for example, Yaqub salam incident, where he detached from his beloved son, Yusuf salam he felt sad and he felt anxiety and a long time he crying for sun and he lose his eyesight by crying of his beloved son Yusuf Alayhi But we know how can he overcome this sadness or anxiety to keep patience and pray to Almighty Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and we know the incident of Maryam Alayhi 
he gave a bath without any male intervention. When she went to birth a child, she felt very sad and she felt anxiety and she asked to his Lord, his, her Lord, O oh Lord, give me death. That means she can't bear this sadness or feelings. But Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave her strength and power to overcome the sadness and anxiety. And he made her success in the last. So we come to know anxiety and sadness will come and go in our life. But Allah gave us hope and glad tidings. He gave us power. He gave us strength so that we can overcome the sadness or anxiety. We can We can control this emotion. And how can we control this emotion? To get patience and we have to clarify in our knowledge about this world is not meant to be perfect world. This world is incomplete. This world is not a Janna for us. Janna is a perfect life for us. So that's why if we read the Al Quran and we follow the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and pray as much as possible to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to overcome this emotion.